the Trump administration's new travel restrictions. The White House has expanded its travel ban to citizens from North Korea, Venezuela and Chad, as well as five other countries on the previous blacklist. It means North Korean nationals will be completely banned from entering the United States when the ban takes effect. How Connie Kim starts us off. Eight countries will be facing new entry restrictions to the U.S. under a proclamation signed by President Trump on Sunday. The White House is slapping travel bans on citizens from North Korea, Venezuela and Chad, expanding the initial list of travel restrictions on Iran, Libya, Syria, Yemen and Somalia. Restrictions on citizens from Sudan have been lifted. The restrictions vary from full travel bans on nationals from countries like Syria and North Korea to more targeted restrictions for Venezuela. The proclamation reads that Trump, as a president, must protect the security and interests of the United States and its people. The announcement comes on the day President Trump's temporary ban on visitors from six Muslim-majority countries was set to expire. The new list has extra significance as it has broadened the restrictions to socialist countries like North Korea and Venezuela. While an administration official acknowledged a small number of North Koreans traveling to the U.S., the proclamation said that North Korea does not cooperate with the American government in any respect and fails to satisfy all information sharing requirements. The new restrictions are slated to take effect on October 18th. The U.S. Supreme Court will hear arguments on October 10th on whether the current ban discriminates against Muslims in violation of the U.S. Constitution. Connie Kim, Arirang News.